You guys have to check out these 250 hawker meals in Singapore. In this episode, we fight inflation by discovering deliciously affordable food dishes at 250 or even less. Food Finders! Hello guys, we're back with another Food Finders episode and it is super early, it is 8.20 in the morning. It's a little bit gloomy and we are at 216 Bedok Hawker and Food Centre. I think today we're going to do um, 250 foods. So with inflation, of course, what we're trying to do is find value for money, budget meals uh, still available in Singapore. Something substantial that is still a meal, that's a criteria for today's episode. What's the cheapest hawker meal you've had? The cheapest one I think would be like a three dollar chicken rice do you value affordability or quality affordability we kind of have to compromise a little bit about quality so you kind of have lower expectations as long as the rice isn't like undercooked that kind of thing i think i'm fine with it what are you expecting for the 250 dishes we're trying today honestly with my experience i'm expecting kind of like small pieces of like meats like a thai fun kind of going on there i don't think we're gonna have like a big giant portion which is fair i mean inflation and everything right that's pretty much it let's start off the episode um let's Let's go try some 250 food. Okay, we're here inside the Hawker Center. Um, actually, we had another store in mind. Um, I think it was a mixed rice store, but we've been waiting for like maybe an hour or so, and it's still not open. So we decided to try um, this store, Madam Chua's Ban Mian, actually. So it looks pretty good. It's also 250 just for the soup. So we're gonna give that a shot. I right, can I get a Ban Mian soup 250 eating here? Ah, okay. Ban Mian. Ban Mian. Which order you make the noodle one? Uh, oh. Oh wow, okay. Wow. Oh. Alright, so we just got our uh, ban mian soup. I think it's pretty substantial for 250. Four meatballs, some anchovies, ikan bilis, and some, I believe, spinach. Yeah, and it's a decent portion. Actually, it's quite a lot of noodles for 250. So I think it's gonna be pretty alright. Yeah, it's pretty good. 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 You can definitely tell that it's made on the spot. It's very bouncy, it's very chewy. It is great, man. This is amazing noodles. For 250, this is incredible actually. It's not bad, right? The noodles are very good, man. The soup is very hearty. Yeah, it is. It's very warming. If it's a rainy day, this is perfect. The minced meat is really good. Super seasoned and it's, it's not hard. Like most of the minced meat, it's usually kind of dense, really hard. No, this is really fluffy and light. There's like pepper and all. Yeah, a really strong hit of white pepper. So we have like two chilies here. Might be a little spicy actually. <coughs> oh yeah, might be a little spicy actually. It's simple, it's hearty. If you're looking for like a cheap, easy breakfast, this is a spot, man. Definitely try this one. So she was saying like after they close, then she makes the dough. The dough itself? Yeah, for oh. like the next day. But you can get like yu mian, pan mian, and um... Mihun kueh as well. Mihun kueh, yes, yeah. mihun kueh as well. Um, whichever you like. And she'll just make it on the spot, which is incredible. I had really low expectations to be honest for 250, but this, this blew it out of the park. This is really good for 250. In fact, it's really good for just pan mian. So I'm excited to see uh, what's next. So let's go to the next part. Alright, we are at Jalan Batu Hawker and Food Center. We are at the next spot, um, which is Feng Chi Kui Chop. Apparently, They've been keeping their prices at $2.50 for about 10 years. Almost every other table here is eating kuih chup. So let's go find out what the what the fuss is about, yeah? Hi, can I get a $2.50 kuih chup set? $2.50? Having yeah. here? Having here, yeah. How do you how do you keep it to $2.50? Actually, $2.50. Quite okay. So is it usually like the more like senior citizens that kind of get a 250? Young guys like you also, also get a 250. 250. I've read online that you kept it for like 10 years now. 12 years. 12 years now. <laughs> wow. Thank you for doing such a good thing though. Old people, students. Ah, uh, so you're doing it for them. Them. Uh. for them. I look forward to trying it. Thank you. Okay, so we just got our kuih chop and it looks really promising. Look at this amount, man. It looks really silky for this one and the top looks really calm. And the crazy thing is that for this kuih chop, they actually add chili powder inside as well, along with the coriander. Usually you just see like um, just garlic and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that the chili will give it like a little boost. We actually have a decent amount for 250, which is, I say, really impressive. I was having not, not really high expectations for today, but this one, this one looks really good. So we got pork belly, some tau pork some small intestines, and even half an egg, which is kind of cool. Oh yeah, it's just like a subtle hint of the, the, the garlic, which is really nice. The kueh is actually really good. I'm really blown away by the options that we have for 250 here. When you have kueh chub, there's kind of like this little bit of funk when you have intestines and stuff like that. And I'm hoping this one does it. 
zero funk. He cleaned his intestines so well. It's, it's a little bit chewy as with most organs and things like that. But overall, I think this is a real solid bowl or plate of kway chap. They've been doing this for 12 years now, I believe she said. And she kind of does it for maybe like the school kids or maybe like the elderly who kind of comes by and just want a, a quick, cheap meal. Well, not a lot of people actually order just a 250 set. They order a 250 set and they add on like a ton of things. So she said, it's not too bad for her as well. Mmm, that pork belly man. That fat is divine. You guys know I'm Filipino. I love my pork. That fat is amazing. The skin as well. Really gelatinous. Kind of almost melts in your mouth. I don't think you really need to bite that hard into it. This is like a proper brace for 250. It's an amazing deal. It's amazing. So this is actually the cheapest squid chop in Singapore at 250. I think definitely worth the deal. Definitely give this one a try. Oh, okay. it is insane eh, for 250. They're losing money on this, man. I don't see how they're making money on 250, bro. Maybe they just take a, a hit for like the 20 orders of 250. It's amazing quality. It's like this. better than a lot of which I've tried, man. This is quality stuff, guys. Let's head on to the next spot. Let's go. Uh, we are in Jalan Bursa. We're here to try um, the Luro Fun from um, this Jalan Bursa pig organ soup. The specialty is actually the pig organ soup, but we're here to try the Luro Fun. As you can see, it's $2. I don't know if she just let us buy this to $2, rice, meat, and then no pig organ soup. Right. I don't know, but it's like the weirdest thing to order. So yeah, let's have a wall and let's see how it goes. Can I just get a braised meat rice? Yeah. Having here, yes. Alrighty, we just got our Luro Fun and she did let us buy just a $2 Luro Fun without any pig organ soup. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna give this a try before we get into a little bit of a, a story time with Seth. It's pretty interesting. Off the bat, uh, it looks like a really saucy rice as you're with your usual Luro Fun. Quite decent amount. Yeah, pork belly. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Like the sauce is all pulled at the bottom. It's a little bit sweet. There's no strong gaminess or anything like that. The braised liquid is really nice. It goes really well with the rice. I think it's probably meant to go with the pig organ soup. So you get a pig organ soup and then you can get this instead of just plain rice. But even like by itself. Especially by itself, it's really it's flavorful. Still pretty good. Could you have just one one bowl of this for a meal though? I think it could have this maybe with a side of peanuts or like the... Um, it could make a meal. It yeah, it could make a meal, honestly. Yeah, so Seth, um, a little bit of a story time into like the... Story this, uh, time? Um, I mean, the English name is like Jalan Basa Pig Organ, pig organ Soup. soup. Yeah. But like, if you look at the Chinese name, um, it's actually Wen Si Zhu Zha Tang. But just opposite, right, is Shen Wen Si, which is uh, Cheng Meng Chi Ki. And you can see like, they just dropped like one character from the name. It's sort of deliberate that they're trying to associate with, you know, the more famous historic stall that's been there for years. If I'm not wrong, previously they actually, like the English name itself was even more similar. They changed it to Jalan Bersa, a more obvious uh, distinction. When they initially opened, we did cover them before. Like our writer did interview the owner. She did mention at that point that she used to work for the Cheng Mong Chiki store, right, as the chef there. After we put this out, Cheng Mong Chiki itself, the original store actually emailed us and told us that no, she was not a chef there. She was like the cashier, you know, yes, borrowing the fame. Kind of ride on the, the reputation. Uh, ride on the reputation kind of thing. All right, and that wraps up the tea. My name is Seth. Thank you for your time. We're going to go to our last and last. Fourth and last spot yeah. of our 250 budget meal. Let's go brave the rain. All right, we're here at our last and final stop. We've braved the rain and we've arrived at Kim Kiet. Palm, uh, Hawker and Market. And we're right here to try Lai Heng. It's probably one of the cheapest Thai fun I've ever seen. One vegetable and one meat is 230, and two vegetables and one meat is 250, which is crazy. So let's join the queue and uh, let's see what we can get. Eggplant, the vegetable, and a pork. We hit three dollars. How much is it? Three, oh, three, three dollars. Hey, which one was meat? Which which one was meat? Dude, this is so... The dish had no meat on there. There's not like, if it's meat, meat, you can tell, right? But... So I got my plate of uh, Thai fun. Funny story, I tried to do the two veggie and one meat, but apparently something in here has meat. I am not sure I've searched high and low, but I can only find the meat for here. So this whole thing is like a 290. Anyways, they do have a wide variety of food that you can choose from. So I think the selection is really good. So I got some pork. Um, I don't know what you call this, but we call this chayote. This is the eggplant that we think has minced meat, but I don't know, do you all see it? Again, for like $3, it's still kind of worth it for Taifan. Just a little bummed about that meat thing. 
It's a little bit tough, not gonna lie, but it is flavorful. It is exactly what I expect Thai Fun to be. Nothing is ever gonna be super special with Thai Fun, so the pork is quite okay for the price that we're paying. For those of you that haven't had chayote, it's kind of like a god, like a lufa god, or like an old cucumber kind of texture, because it's kind of like mushy. Um, this one's not bad, it's, it's very plain tasting. So you just taste a little bit of garlic, that's just simple stir fry. Let's try my meat slash eggplant dish. I don't taste any meat at all. Again, this is the run of the meal eggplant that's fried. It's just a sweet sauce. Definitely no traces of minced meat here. A little oily, a little stir fry. It's all that regular goodness that you get from Thai Fun. Usually if I order my two and two, like two meat, two vegetable, it usually goes up to like four or five bucks. But just for this, it's like three bucks. It's, it's kind of worth it. But you can technically get 250. Uh, I think you just need to maybe ask her which one is classified as meat. Maybe just go for like the greenest things and then you can't go wrong. <laughs> Why three dollars though? I think that's still a mystery. Street. Trying to figure out. God damn it. So this is a spectacularly very average Typhon that we have. Let's just do a little recap and a review of everything that we had today. So we are back in the car as you can see. A little bit different than our usual outros because it's pouring. Which do you yeah. think was the uh, most worth it? Hands down was the Kui Chop. The Kui Chop was amazing. Really good for its price and even in the class of just generally Kui Chop. I think that's the one I would probably go back to. I'm not sure if they, they just gave us more cause, you know, we were holding cameras yeah, or whatever. Cameras. You guys let us know if they actually do give that yeah. amount. If they do, it's super, super worth, worth it. it. Super very for money. And then the second one would be the Ban Mian. Just because she handmade right. all the noodles. Mm. So I think that's very unique and very special. And for 250, it's it's a legit Ban Mian. That wraps up our 250, well mostly 250. Sorry uh, yeah. guys, again. How did we bust? I, I don't know <laughs> bus on what the, happened with the mincemeat. On the economic rice. Give us a little subscribe and maybe press the like button as well. If you have any other challenges you'd like us to try. Generally try or do. Yeah. Let us know in the comments as let well. Let us know. Yeah. See ya. See you guys next Peace. time. Bye. Boop.